like a school when a teacher calls in sick and a substitute teacher is called back to work. We don't have substitute firefighters. The Kern County Fire Department paying hundreds of thousands of dollars in overtime pay at a time when other departments are making deep cuts. 23 ABC's Ken Masenchi is live for us tonight. He is down at county headquarters in downtown Bakersfield with a closer look at where that taxpayer money is going tonight. Ken? Yeah, Tim and Jackie, at a time when departments across the county are being asked to make serious budget cuts, a new report shows how the fire department is spending big bucks in overtime. Fighting fires is not a nine to five job. When they're out on the fire lines on these wildland fires, they're often working 16 to 24 hour days. Uh, that's day and night. Working those hours requires overtime pay, an issue the Bakersfield Californian dissected this weekend. Several members of Kern County Fire made over $100,000 in overtime wages on top of their base salary. This comes at a time when Chief Brian Marshall had suggested that county budget troubles could lead to fire station closures and even job cuts. But Marshall says even though the overtime numbers appear astounding, they're actually saving the county money. We used to have extra firefighters that were on the floor waiting to fill in a position such as a vacation or sick leave uh, spot. We actually had 64 extra firefighters. Those went away in favor of using overtime at a lesser rate. Chief Marshall says filling vacation and sick days requires calling people in who may have the day off, especially since a fire department requires a minimum of three employees to be present at all times. It's kind of like a school when a teacher calls in sick and a substitute teacher is called back to work. We don't have substitute firefighters. We use our off-duty firefighters to fill in those vacant positions. The Kern County Auditor's Office says a lawsuit for overtime pay several years ago led to a settlement that enables these high overtime numbers and ended up with a 28-day pay cycle instead of an 18-day pay cycle that lines up more with a firefighter's work schedule. If they would just claim an 18-day cycle as opposed to the 28-day cycle, that would even out the, the hourly rate for their overtime. And so, you know, that would save, we estimated that would save over 500000 a year. Chief Marshall says he is open to possible changes. We are looking at some of the options to reduce some of these numbers, uh, such as holiday pay or hours worked. Until those negotiations occur, these overtime payments could continue. This was what was agreed to, and they are simply abiding by the terms of the union contract, but it's between the, the county and the union to decide whether or not these things need to be renegotiated. Chief Marshall added that the U.S. Forest Service or CAL FIRE help in paying the wages of firefighters who assist with wildland fires so that not all the payment falls on Kern County taxpayers. And for more on this issue, as well as who are the top overtime earners, you can go to our website, turn23.com. Live in downtown Bakersfield, Ken Masenchi, 23 ABC.